And the House of Representatives Committee on Public Petition has summoned Ajib Oil Company to appear before it on June 26 over an alleged 80 million naira owed to the Kuhn Services Limited. Honorable Mike Ataba, chairman of the committee, uh, while expressing displeasure over non payment as well as the non appearance of Ajib Oil, said some to the managing director and chief executive officer. If Mel Ikari was here, he would have been able to explain to the House what has actually transpired, whether Ajib is actually owing the petitioner or not. Because what the petitioner is saying, to the best of our knowledge, cannot be taken seriously for now, because there is no response from whosoever has been alleged, allegedly accused. And members also took turns to condemn the action of Ajib for its continuous refusal to appear before the committee, describing Ajib's actions as disrespectful. It is so unfortunate that people who are supposed to be accountable to the people of Nigeria believe they own Nigeria. Nigeria belongs to all of us. And when a committee that is saddled with the responsibility of resolving issues, especially a committee mandated by the Constitution to handle issues touching and concerning the lives of Nigerians, summons a person whom they have authority to summon, he refuses to appear. Chairman, I think it's time. I don't know who's, who is protecting who, but I do know that nobody is above the law. The petitioner, Professor Nelson Onubogo, the MDC of the Kuhn, explained that the invitation to Ajib for appearance was well advertised in the media, suggesting that Ajib deliberately shunned the public hearing. After about three days, I got a call from an MPC from a guy called Mohammed Mahmoudou. He said it's from TARC, Government Risk and Compliance, something like that. They are coming to audit my company, do forensic audit, with respect to my issue with IG. I said, you come. They came, and uh, I was involved in a very serious project with Shell. So I allowed them to deal with my contracting department and my HR and the responsible officers. But from time to time, they will call me in. And most times, they don't talk to me physically. While in my office, they will go through Microsoft team. So while they are talking to me, Ajit will be there, NMPC will be there. We had about a, a week and a half in my office, and they were done. But interestingly, one of our Microsoft team meetings, Ajit flashed a document to betray the fact that part of the $1.8 million they are owing me, that I supplied the wrong equipment. Onobago says he is ready for a peaceful resolution of the impasse, but no one should tell him to forgo his money. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.